He wants nothing more than for UT Dallas to grow and to thrive. Anyone who has any dealings with him will always walk away favorably impressed. To have devoted oneself in the 90s toward building a Holocaust Studies program at a university that was still in its infancy either required a great deal of vision or a great deal of, of faith. By my count, we have more than a dozen doctor-level courses uh, being offered by the Ackerman Center. But subtract that provost, subtract Hobson Wollenthal, and ask you know, what we have today. We would have some good scholars, some good work would be, would be uh, being conducted right now, but we would not have that wonderful center that we know today. I went to him every year, and I said I would like to invite Alvin Rosenfeld and he said, oh yes, I mean, he has written about Holocaust and literature, didn't he? And I was totally amazed, because most people don't know the scholarly works, but he did. We've always been sure that it was a good thing to have a Holocaust Study Center, but now seeing so many people of so many different walks of lives of different ages really shows why we need it. Edward Ackerman was a visionary, and Hobson is one as well. Mr. Ackerman and Dr. Willenthal together were a very powerful team, and watching them in action was great fun. Hobson exhibited just unlimited patience for the never-ending questions that I had for him. And for his patience, I'm just truly appreciative. Thank you for making it possible for all of us to have such way for students to learn about the Holocaust not only then, not only now, but in the far future as well. Thank you. Dear Hobson, uh, congratulations on receiving the Ackerman Center Leadership Award. I can't imagine a, a person more suited to this wonderful recognition. Congratulations.